Hello, uh, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been three weeks. Uh, last uh, video that I uploaded in my channel was, uh, I think, last three weeks ago. Okay, now today, uh, what I'm going to show you guys is one of the projects that I handled in Qatar. Actually, this system is a mechanical system. This is for hot water system, solar and water heaters, okay? Now, in my BMS graphics, okay, I have here my simple presentation for a solar heater and water heaters, electric water heaters, okay? So I have here my solar uh, collector or solar heater, okay? Now I have also here two electric heaters. Okay. Then I have here two calorifiers. Okay. Now uh, I have also here two uh, pumps for distributing the hot water supply. Okay. Now uh, I have one pump for the solar heater. Okay. Now uh, as you can see here. The temperature that we need to supply in the building, it should be around 55 degrees. No? Okay, now actually, uh, in some countries where there is really extreme temperature during winter, I think maybe the temperature is a little bit higher than this, okay? But in the Middle East, in Qatar, we usually supply around 55 degrees centigrade of hot water, okay? Now, actually, this one will be mixed with cold water in the building, okay? It depends on the user. If they want more hot water, they can uh, open the hot water uh, control for the tap, okay? Now, uh, guys, if you are the BMS engineer or you are the mechanical engineer for this project, you have this system. Now my question is, how are you going to do the control for this system? Okay. Now in my in that previous project, what I did there is I just uh, created the BMS graphics and uh, created also the BMS points for monitoring. Actually, in this project, I did not do the control, okay? So meaning uh, the supplier of this system, they bring their own PLC or they bring their own DDC. Then based on that uh, control logic programming or their own control logic programming, I just asked the guy, the engineer in charge to, uh, he needs to provide the control and monitoring points from their systems. So we need to do some software integration. I hope you know already what is meant by software integration. Okay, for those new uh, engineers, software integration is wherein to be able to get the information from their system that controls this hot water system. Uh, I will just run one communication cable from their system and connected to my uh, system also or the BMS system. Now we can always get the information uh, through BACnet, uh, through BACnet over IP, okay, or some other uh, protocol or uh, BACnet over MSTP. Now here I think I used here BACnet MSTP. So if they are also using BACnet MSTP, then it will be easy to do the software integration. Okay, all I need to do is uh, add their system in my system also then they need to expose the uh, control and monitoring points from their system. So I will be able to see those points and uh, map my BMS graphics to those control and monitoring points, okay? Now, I know those BMS engineers who are doing this, they can relate what I'm trying to say here, okay? Now, but for the new engineers, so there is, Software integration, then there is also hardwired. When you say hardwired, you are running physical cable to the control panel to be able to get the control and monitoring points, okay? Now here, guys, if you are the BMS engineer, since I, as I said, 
uh, I did not uh, write the control. We did the software integration. Now here, what I'm doing is I had written uh, simple control logic. Okay, now maybe I can show it to you. Now this is my simple logic control program, but this is not the 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 best control logic for this system because I just want to show you how the system works. Okay, this is just for discussing or uh, trying to explain how the system works. Okay, now let me go back to my graphics. Okay, now as you can see here, my control logic program is already running at the background. Okay, now it's just already it's already uploaded to my uh, this automation server and it's already running. Okay. Now here, what I did here is, as you know, we have two source of hot water, the solar, or we have the solar collector, okay? Then we have also our uh, electric heater. Now what I did here, <coughs> since in Qatar, uh, I can expect that sunlight, I mean, uh, sun, uh, uh, we can have sunlight, at around maybe six in the morning is already sunrise in Qatar. Okay, so what I'm doing there is I try to uh, run my solar uh, heater based on time schedule. Okay, or meaning uh, maybe uh, okay. Let me show you here. So I have here time of day, okay? So I have an expression here. I said, if the time is equal or greater than 17, now 17 is uh, five o'clock in the afternoon, okay? Now uh, my electric heater will be enabled, okay? Because as you know, at five, at five in the afternoon, we are expecting uh, sunset will or so to able to be able to write the control. I just try to uh, do this in this fashion. Okay, so meaning at five in the afternoon, I will be enabling my electric heaters. Okay, now my heater will run from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., okay? I mean, my solar heater will run from uh, 6 to uh, 5 p.m., okay? 6 in the morning to 5 p.m., okay? Now, uh, as I said, this is just my sequence of operation for the sake of explaining the system, okay? Now, uh, I also implemented here the day of week. So to be able to do the sequencing or rotation of my uh, hot water pumps. So Monday to Wednesday, I will be running pump one, as you can see here in my control logic. So Monday to Wednesday, I will be running this, okay? Then uh, Thursday to Sunday, I will be running pump two. But I consider also, let's say, today is Wednesday, then my pump one trips, then of course pump two should kick in. Likewise, if uh, today is Thursday and pump two is running, when it trips, then pump one uh, should kick in also, okay? So as a BMS engineer, you should be also uh, taking care of that sequence okay of that scenario okay now here uh, so uh, as you can see solar heater enabled because now the time is 10 in the morning okay so automatically my solar heater will be enabled then the solar pump or solar water pump will be enabled also it will run okay then the hot water being generated from this uh, solar radiation collector or this uh, solar heater, it will be used or uh, go to our calorifiers, okay? 
and this that here the water is being stuck okay the hot water being stuck here then it is being pumped to the building by these two pumps okay now as you can see today is thursday thursday then pump two should be the one running okay let me see here okay so pump two is running okay so because i said thursday to sunday pump two will run monday to wednesday pump one will run just to make sure that there will be at least equal wear and tear for both of the pumps okay because that is a good engineering practice okay now for the solar pump uh once it is in once it is within the day within the hour from six to five then it will be automatically enabled it will be automatically start okay now uh for my solar heater as i said the solar heater will uh, start when it is already past five in the afternoon up to 5:59 in the morning okay so uh, guys this is how i tried to write the control logic program for this hot water system solar and water heaters okay so if you have any idea those who are watching my uh, video tutorial those who are following me in my channel please you can always uh, Put a comment then maybe if you have worked in with the same system maybe you can tell also those who are going to watch this video okay i have another uh, solution or i have another sequence of operation that is best for running this solar or this hot water system okay so i'm waiting for your comment uh, i hope those who are following me you can give me an idea so that I can rewrite my simple control logic program. Okay. Now, actually, this simple control logic program is just to simulate the operation of this system. Okay. So, as you can see, since this is today, uh, the hour of the day is 10 o'clock. Okay. It is within my time of day for solar heater. Then, solar heater will be just the one, two uh supply the hot water in the building now uh, guys actually there are so many uh scenarios that you can consider because let's say it is within the time for solar heater but let's say uh during that time uh it is raining then it is cloudy so sun is not there okay so it is winter time so maybe you will not be able to provide hot water so we can maybe take in uh, take that in consideration maybe if what i can do there if the water the temperature of the water uh, being delivered by the solar heater is around let's say it's only 25 degrees or 30 degrees then that's the time to I can consider I can run one heater, okay, just to make to compensate the or to raise the temperature to the set point because I think we need to provide around 55 degrees centigrade uh, water in the building. So there are so many scenarios that you have to consider, okay, as a BMS engineer, uh, you have to consider those things if you will be the one to write the control logic program for the system okay it is be a big uh, it's a challenging task for a bms engineer but for me i just want to show you a simple one okay maybe i'm asking from uh, you an input so that i can uh, rewrite this control logic program if you have any idea please uh, put it in the comment uh, tell me we can collaborate and uh, th this is being done to help new engineers or those MEP engineers or BMS engineers so that they will have a, a, a first hand idea how are they going to do the uh, control and monitoring of this kind of system okay now again I think this is enough for today and uh, 
I was not very busy in my channel because uh, I have also an online class. So I need to uh, concentrate on the online class. Okay, now I have a chance to do this system, but don't worry, I will be doing more uh, BMS tutorial in my channel. Okay, maybe in this month I will be able to do several tutorial. Okay, now if you are new to my uh, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, and you can always click the notification bell so you will be notified if new video is uploaded in my channel. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope. Uh, I can help in a little way to those who are new to this uh, building automation or building management system. Again, I'm not claiming any expertise. I'm just trying to share an experience and trying to help those who are new to this system or to this field of engineering. Okay, then Santos Capilian Jr. will always say, God bless us all and let's, uh, let us all be safe and Bye for now.